I've been hinting at talking about this for a few weeks at this point, but finally, I think it's time. Uh, <laughs> it's a little late, but it's worthwhile. The discussion, I think, is worthwhile. Because it kind of puts in the context my opinion on the 2024 election, specifically with Joe Biden. Progressive scholar and activist and reverend, I believe, Cornell West has announced that he is running for president. I will show you here in a second his announcement, and we will talk about what happened since. But all things considered, Cornell West is one of the most inspirational speakers. He is a great orator. He is a great writer. He is somebody that I love listening to and watching his videos or whatever it is, listening to him speak about policy. Big order of Bernie in the past. But Cornell West's campaign is completely dead on arrival. And we'll talk about that after we watch this video. In these bleak times, I have decided to run for truth and justice, which takes the form of running for president of the United States as a candidate for the People's Party. I enter in the quest for truth. I enter in the quest for justice. And the presidency is just one vehicle to pursue that truth and justice, what I've been trying to do all of my life. I come from a tradition where I care about you. I care about the quality of your life. I care about whether you have access to a job with a living wage, decent housing, women having control over their bodies, health care for all, the escalating, the destruction of the planet, the destruction of American democracy. Democracy creates disruption. It creates an eruption. It creates an interruption wide from below the energies of everyday people as manifest. And I know there are precious people in your life who you care for. That's why it's important for you to be involved, important for you to participate. We're not talking about hating anybody. We're talking about loving. We're talking about affirming. We're talking about empowering those who have been pushed to the margins because neither political party wants to tell the truth about Wall Street, about Ukraine about the Pentagon, about big tech. Neo-fascists like Brother Trump or milquetoast neoliberals like Brother Biden. Wow, well, I'm so okay. happy to make a world-shaking decision. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I know gangsters when I see them. <laughs> and gangsters not a subjective expression. It's an objective condition. Mm. Do we have what it takes? We shall see. But some of us are going to go down Fighting, go down swinging with style and a smile, accenting the best in you and trying to tease out the best in me. Let's do it together. So, what, poss what possible problem could I have with Cornell West's campaign? Well, you may have missed it, but in the beginning of that video, Cornell West is not running for the Democratic primary. Cornell West is not running as a Republican. Cornell West is running, or was running, for the People's Party. Now, if you haven't heard of the People's Party in America, you may have heard it in other places, but in America, that's because it is not a real political party. It is an organization, but it does not have ballot access in the 50 states of America. So, functionally, no matter how great or how much you agree with Cornell West, I happen to on a lot of things. He was seeking the nomination of a party that does not have ballot access in 50 states, which means that he could not win even if he were to give it a real shot. 
after critique and criticism and knocking and a f- influx, I'm sure, of calls and emails from people that he actually trusts, Cornell West decided within, I think it was three or four days, to switch from seeking the, the People's Party nomination, again, not to seek the Democratic Party's nomination, but for the Green Party's nomination. Look, I, I have said this from the, begin, the, the beginning, right? It is extremely, extremely hard to primary any sort of incumbent, let alone the sitting president of the United States. If Cornell West was running a messaging campaign to talk about the specifics of the issues that he highlighted, I would be like, go ahead, have at it, have fun, right? Because Biden will win the primary. That's the that's just a fact. Whether we like it or not, that's a fact, right? I happen to align more politically with Cornell West. But he is seeking the nomination of the Green Party. And whether you think that third parties should have more of a say in America or not, historically, think back to 2000, third parties always in America have benefited, not, maybe not always, in the last at least 100 years, have benefited the right wing. If Cornell West was seeking the Democratic nomination and he polled at what like RFK is doing, right? 20% or whatever. I would be, go for it. Have at it. Great. Wonderful. Talk about Medicare for all. Talk about uh, wealth inequality. Talk about housing. Talk about uh, all these different issues that, you know, he's great on, right? But as a third party candidate running in a general election in a state like Pennsylvania, I could not in good faith vote for Cornell West to then, again, even if I politically align with him, remember the American democratic system, small d democratic system is functionally winner take all in most states. So in Pennsylvania, where Biden won by a few thousand votes, not hundreds of thousands, not millions, he won by a couple thousand votes in 2020. If just a small amount of people, like let's just say Cornell West gets to the general election and 20,000 people in Pennsylvania voted for him, that could turn the entirety of the election towards Donald Trump or whoever the Republican is. That is the that is the consideration that we have to have in these types of situations. Now, do I think he shouldn't run? He should just say, no, don't run at all. No, he could do whatever he wants. But as a progressive, as somebody that cares about pragmatism in the United States and in policy, I don't mean pragmatism as like, oh, he's too pie in the sky because people say that about me. He's too pie in the sky about like Bernie Sanders. If if Cornell West was running in 2024 and or sorry, in 2028 and it was like an open seat in the Democratic primary, he'd probably have my vote. But he's not. He's not. Context matters. Context matters, guys. And the same thing, like Marianne Williamson. Marianne Williamson is more progressive than Joe Biden, but that does not mean that I want to vote for her because the pragmatic viewpoint of a... You can vote for who you want in the primary election. Go for it. Have fun. You should vote in a primary election. But when it boils down to it, the majority of Democrats want Joe Biden. And... When the general election comes around, you should vote for the candidate that is most likely win and represent your values within the two-party dynamic. If the Green Party wanted to be taken seriously by people like me or like you, Maybe you do take them seriously. 
I don't. Right now, at least. The Green Party should organize on the grassroots local level. A party that does not have a sitting congressman, that does not have a sitting senator, that does not have a sitting governor, that does not have, from what I know, not many state uh, uh, state senators, state reps, uh, town township supervisors, borough council, mayors. That is where you pick up ground. If you were to say, we're going to start and we're just going to target one state, well, it's why don't you go target Florida or some, one of these states and just say, we're going to go after these, these um, states, we're going to get their vote, we're going to build a new party infrastructure, then you can prove the concept. But you're not going to win a presidential election without a party apparatus that is strong. It's just a fact. When we talk, like... When we talk about other countries and we think about it all, right? Oh, how come how come other countries don't have this two-party system? That's because they don't have a presidential system. They have a parliamentary system. It's a different system. If we wanted to do something like this, we should have ranked choice voting, which I support. But we don't. So, so it sounds naysaying. It sounds pessimistic. It sounds like, oh, it's kind of really even a progressive. He doesn't want to support Cornell West. Yes, I am. But in the system that we are operating in, if I could wave a magic wand and say, we don't have any parties, that'd probably be the best thing, right? Like, it'd be great, but we don't have that. That is not feasible and it is not logistically possible in America. I do not want Ron DeSantis, Donald Trump, Mike Pence, Vivek Ramaswamy, Chris Christie, Tim Scott, Nikki Haley. I don't want any of them to be the president. And the person that is going to stand in their way, even though he's not as progressive as I want him to be, is Joe Biden because he is the sitting president. In my opinion, if Cornell West wanted to have a serious shot at a real messaging campaign, he should have ran in the Democratic primary and tried to pick off 20%, 25% of the vote. And then come to the table, negotiate for a platform policy or a platform like Bernie did. And Bernie almost won, by the way. And that's why we had so much pro labor, so many pro labor people. And like, let's not forget that Bernie was an independent, but he caucused with the Democrats. He was associated with the Democrats. He ran for the Democratic primary twice. That is the path for progressives. That is the tried and true path for progressives. 